Hey everyone, today I have a quick PC building tutorial for you. We're gonna be showing you how to install a PSU in your PC, so a power supply unit in your PC case. We're gonna be using the Thermaltake Tough Power Semi-Modular 750 Watt Power Supply Unit, and we're gonna be installing that in a Thermaltake V250 PC case. But hey, if you are new here, my name is Ken. This is Northern Viking Everyday, and we bring you videos on reviews and how to's. So please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Let's go ahead and dive right into installing this power supply unit. So first things first, go ahead and take off the side panels from your PC case. You might need to loosen off some screws, then you'll be able to lift those off or slide them off. Now again, we're going to be using the Thermaltake Tough Power 750 watt semi-modular power supply unit. If you are interested in this power supply or any of the components I'm using in my build, I will put links below in the description. So again, this PSU is semi-modular and what that means is the cables that are permanently attached you would use on every build. So the main power connector, the 24 pin or the ATX 12 volt connector are permanently attached. Everything else is modular and you would plug it in as you need it. Comes with a whole bunch of different cables that you can use to add on. The red ones are the PCIe cables. These are what you would use for your video card. I'm gonna need one of those as well as there's all sorts of other cables. So there's SATA connectors, peripheral connectors, FDD connectors, so you can attach different floppy drives or DVD drives with those other cables. I am gonna need a SATA connector to connect my hub for my RGB. You'd also use a SATA connector if you're installing a solid state drive or a hard drive into this computer. I'm using an NVMe drive, so that's already on my motherboard. Now we can go ahead and plug in the cables we're using into the back here and you'd select the ones that you need. I need the PCIe connector here for my video card. So we're gonna plug that in. It just plugs in right in the back. And I'm also gonna need that SATA connector to power my RGB fan lights on the front of the PC case. So we're gonna plug that in here as well. So let's have a quick look at the PC case and decide which way we'd like to install the PSU. You can see I've got venting here on the top as well as on the bottom. I think I'm gonna install mine with the fan facing up so it sucks it out from the case and out the back of the computer. You can decide based on your venting which way you'd like to install the PSU. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just slide that into place and just kind of jimmy it into the perfect spot, making sure that all four screw holes line up on the back. There's one here, another one, the third one, and the fourth one right there. Now in my power supply box, I did get four screws to hold the power supply in place. And you can go ahead and start screwing those in. I don't like to tighten them down until the end. So I give them a couple turns so they thread. And I'm gonna just line it up. You might need to wiggle it around a little bit so it's in the perfect spot. Just put in the third one and then the fourth one. And once they've all taken their thread, then you can go ahead and tighten them all down so it's nice and secure and perfectly in place. So let's go ahead and push through the power connectors in the closest hole so it lines up with the motherboard. The main power connector, the 24 pin, I'm gonna put through the side. The ATX 12 volt up here in the corner, just like that. And then the PCIe cable, I'm gonna put that through the side here. I don't have my video card installed yet, but that will closely align with where it's gonna go. The other cable I do need to plug in here is my SATA connector. Make sure you are plugging it in in the correct direction. This is gonna power my RGB fan hub that's on the back there. You can see it off in the corner. So we're gonna plug that in to give that power. Flipping the whole thing around here, you're gonna see the main power connector, the 24 pin. We're gonna go ahead and plug that in. Again, make sure you are plugging it in in the correct direction. You don't wanna bend any pins or damage anything when you're plugging it in. Up here in the corner, you'll see the ATX 12 volt connector. It's a four plus four. You can see I have eight ports here. So I'm gonna use the whole thing and plug it in right there. So that's what it looks like once you've got it plugged in. It's kind of a tight squeeze for this connector. Down here, the red connectors, these will plug into your video card that will mount right in this location. I don't have mine installed yet, but you'll either have a six pin or an eight pin connector on your video card. So just use the corresponding connectors. This is what a six pin video card will look like. You might have eight pins, so you'll have to use the whole connector there. So if you're installing any other devices, solid state drives, hard drives, DVD drives, go ahead and connect those to the correct corresponding cable. And really you are done. It is that simple to install a power supply unit 
in your PC case and make all the connections. So hope this video was able to help you out in installing your PSU or power supply unit in your PC. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media. You will find all those links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.